Hello, fish person. Trying to get the camera set up a little bit. There we go. Try that boat right there. Uh, we've talked about uh, spots 5, 5A, 5B, 5A, 6, and 6A on the last uh, video. Uh, what I couldn't show was 7. Uh, this is a different layout, but it's the same as we spoke about before. Redfish along here. Uh, but this is the one here, 7. This canal used to have a cut right here. And that cut, when I first started fishing there, was about 3 foot wide. Had a little depth to it, but it was only three foot wide. Now it's about 15, 20 feet wide. But right past that, as you can see, this, this would break back this way a little bit, this little arc. And this here would come here and do a little indentation right here. But once you pass that little bitty cut, you would throw in that indentation and let this come down and fish this water over here. This area through here is uh, eight to 10 feet deep all the way to about right here. Uh, it's changed over the years. It's it's wide here now. You can put the boat over here and fish this point, or you can fish this point here or this point here. Um, it's good, like I said, eight to ten feet of water. When the tide is falling, coming through here this way, right over here with corks. Uh, I've never done it, but I've seen people fish there before. They fish with corks. I'm assuming they they, they caught some fish. Uh, this run through here is fairly shallow. I've run it many times, but I get up on a plane. And I run to over here. The depth through here is pretty good. Uh, could be up to 15 feet up in here and maybe 20 feet over here. Good depth through here. This goes through here like here. And this is spot number eight. We'll get to that later on. But I wanted to feature number seven first because that's the only place I show seven. Uh, as you can see, this is Bay, Bay Jack, Nevada over here. Oak River would be down over here. And this is the upper north, uh, northeast corner of Bay Jack Nevet that you would run through here. So again, number seven, um, it's a good spot. You're not going to catch many fish, but it's good for five or six. And years ago, it used to be, I mean, big girls used to hang there. I mean, three, five pound trout used to hang up in there. But since it opened up. Uh, it's not as much. You got some great current lines that come through here when it's falling. You got a great current line when it's coming in through here. Not much movement over here. This is real shallow. Uh, like I said, if you're going to run this, hit, get up on a plane and run it. Uh, so that's just to talk about number seven. Um, anyway, you can spend a lot of time just fishing this area right here and trying to learn it. Uh, it's, it's good depth all the way through here, not a problem. So that's it for number seven.